Good morning, good afternoon, everyone, wherever you may be joining us. My name is Peter Arvo, and I'll be guiding you through this short audio-video lecture on how to best navigate and utilize the supplemental lecture notes as well as the page briefings for the Torchbearer series. Ideally, this should be the first audio-video lecture that you watch. We will skip past this information regarding copyrights and information on possible college credit and certification in this material. But if you would like more information, please see the website www.thetorchbearerseries.com. Also, if possible, visit the website to obtain the most recent version of this lecture and related documents. Most of the PDF documents for the Torchbearer series, which contain blue reference numbers, are hyperlinked to its corresponding reference location. For the following example, we will use the chart of New Testament lineage streams, unbroken chain of custody, pictured here. Suppose we want to learn more about the references for the early churches around 30 to 120 AD. So we choose one of the references and click on the blue 101 reference number, shown here circled in green. After clicking, it will take you to reference number 101 within the Bibliography Works Cited section. Clicking on the blue 101 reference number here, indicated by the green arrow on the image, will take you back to the top of the document where you left off. But instead, let's suppose we want to see the actual pages being cited. Normally this would be a very time-consuming process to track down the resource. But this has been made much easier by incorporating self-contained scans of the expired copyrighted pages available right within the document. In this example, there's a scan of a book title and several separate reference pages shown here circled in green. Clicking on the blue 139 page number hyperlink takes us directly to the scan of the page 139 within the PDF document. This removes the need for an internet connection and eliminates the possibility of losing the reference. As you can see from the example, another step has been taken in order to save you some time. In most cases, the most relevant information has been underlined in red, removing the need to search the entire page to locate the reference text. Just as before, clicking on the blue 101 reference number from this area will take you back to the top of the document where you left off. Returning quickly back to the top of the document where you left off enables you to save precious time while reading and researching. To my knowledge, the Torchbearer series is the first to utilize a bibliography that is hyperlinked to self-contained scans of the reference pages, while going a step further and underlining in red the pertinent information. Hopefully other researchers and teachers will follow this example wherever possible. Your next step is to view the first of the three core lectures called The Torchbearer Series, Suppressed Bible Manuscript History, Core Course B501, Session 1 of 3. The information contained in this series is a result of thousands of hours of research containing around 700 references cited and is designed with the intent of being a streamlined method to present evidence and information to dramatically increase your faith trust and love for God and His ways. Session 1 will cover Manuscript Basics and Tempus Absimo to the reliability of text and B-Raid, as well as additional information you may not have heard anywhere else. Until next time, take care and God bless.